What is up guys, hope y'all are doing well and today we'll be doing a great push workout that will leave your chest and triceps burning. I'm not gonna be wasting too much time of yours so I'll do the explanation whilst we warm up. This workout will exist of seven exercises and I'll be showcasing one after the other and sharing some tips around form and variations. I'll be performing all of them once but for a good workout make sure to repeat the whole cycle three times. The amount of rest that you should take in between exercises is hard to pinpoint exactly, but a good rule of thumb is anywhere between 30 seconds and a minute. Everyone's body is a bit different with their own strengths and weaknesses, so don't be discouraged if you excel at one exercise and suck at the other. This workout plan is meant more as a general guideline and I provide easier variations if that were to be needed. Make sure to warm up until your muscles feel loose and you feel ready for the workout. Starting things off with dips. A very popular exercise and that for a good reason, mainly targeting triceps and chest of course, but don't be surprised if you feel it in your shoulders as well. As you descend, keep your elbows close to your body and avoid them flaring out to the sides too much. Go as deep until your elbows are at about a 90 degree angle or slightly lower, depending on your shoulder flexibility and comfort, but for beginners I recommend starting with 90 degrees. Inhale as you go down and exhale when coming back up. And that breathing technique will count for every exercise we'll be doing, so I won't mention it anymore, but make sure to remember it. Following that, we got explosive knee push-ups. Now, we're incorporating a plyometric element by adding a face where the hands leave the ground. The explosive nature of this will help in developing pure strength. Make sure that when you push yourself from the ground that you keep your body straight and your core engaged. As you land, try and do it as softly and controlled as you can, as if you're trying to make the least amount of noise possible. Start with little jumps, and as you become stronger, try to get more air time. After completing that, let's move on to incline diamond push-ups. This diamond hand position places a greater emphasis on the triceps compared to regular push-ups. It might be hard for some to keep their balance in the beginning, so try and perform them slowly and controlled. The level of incline that you choose will depend on your own level of course. The lower you go, the harder. You might not even need an incline if you're more experienced. Don't worry though, my goal is to get every one of you to that point. Whilst performing them, try to not let your hips sack to the floor. Instead, keep your body in a straight alignment. Next up, skull crushers. This one will really make sure to tone your triceps. When you see me perform the exercise, try and notice I'm not pushing with my shoulders, only with my triceps. It's a bit more technical, but I'm sure you guys can do it. Once again, do not let your elbows flare out to the sides, but keep them pointing straight back. Lower yourself until your forehead almost touches the bench or bar, and then push through your hands, extending your elbows to lift yourself back up. The lower you place your hands, the harder this will become. Moving on to the fifth exercise, bench dips. Now a lot of you are probably thinking this will be too easy, but trust me, after all we've just done, these will be hard enough. Face your back towards the bench and extend your legs. You can also start with your legs bent slightly to make them easier as well. Lower your body until your arms reach a 90 degree angle with your elbows pointing straight back once again, not flaring out. Alright, now pushing back up is where most people go wrong. Yes, your feet are there to support you a little, but people take that too far usually. Really imagine pressing down into the bench using your arms instead of your legs to lift yourself up. Reaching the end of the workout, we're gonna dial it back a bit as your arms are probably dead by now, so these will be more endurance based. So for the second to last exercise, we have low plank to high plank. It's a dynamic plank variation for building endurance. Pretty self-explanatory, moving from a low plank to a high plank position and then back down again and repeat. Don't be surprised if your abs start to burn as it significantly engages the core muscles because you want to keep your body as straight as possible during the movement. And then the final exercise on the list are slow push-ups. This exercise increases the time under tension for the muscles than that of what we are normally used to. Emphasizing the lowering, also known as the eccentric face. Doing it slowly will also help develop a better mind-muscle connection as you're forced to focus on the movement and to really hold that certain position. Hold it for a tiny bit at the bottom and then follow it up by the lifting or also known as the concentric phase. Well, that is a wrap. We have reached the end of the workout. If you completed it, congrats. If you gave it a try, congrats as well. And if you have any questions or you would like to see more of these kinds of videos, let me know down below in the comments. And then I will see you guys in the next one, hopefully. Goodbye.